insurance. Uh, it's a necessary evil, very unfortunate. Uh, a lot of young people don't think about insurance, it's way off the radar. Uh, a lot of us probably think we're pretty invincible at this age, but it only takes uh, one event to, uh, to, to change your attitude towards insurance. Um, four key insurances I would, uh, I would suggest that you take a look at. First one is life insurance. Life insurance uh, is not meant to be a financial windfall, um, but if you do start to take on, uh, on debt, so a home loan or investment loan debt, and you have a family, life insurance is absolutely vital. The idea of life insurance is to provide for your family um, if you were to pass away, to allow them to continue living in the same, same lifestyle that they were used to when you were around and providing for. And I suppose from a debt reduction perspective, it takes that pressure off having to to meet a monthly um, mortgage payment, for example. Um, TPD, Total and Permanent Disability Insurance, sort of same, same but different. You don't have to die, but you almost have to die. Um, <laughs> and and basically, basically it means that um, you're never going to be able to go back to work. Now, if you're looking at these two options, uh, oh sorry, the TPD option, uh, we would suggest you look out for two, uh, two key things in the policy definition. That is own occupation versus any occupation. We suggest or highly recommend you go for an own occupation. If you're a surgeon and you lop off a finger and you have an own occupation, it means that you, um, they'll pay you out because you can't, you can't carry out your, your daily job. Any occupation means that, well, you can't be a surgeon, but you could probably be a gardener, therefore that's what you've got to go and do. We're not going to pay you the money. Be very careful about that. Trauma insurance, probably not something that younger people think about. Potentially we should. It basically covers you if you have a traumatic event, so uh, stroke, heart attack, um, a cancer of some description. These are all things that become more prevalent later in life, therefore trauma insurance becomes more expensive later in life. Income protection is probably the key, the one thing I would suggest uh, strongly that we all consider. Income protection provides uh, an income source for, for you if you become ill or injured and you're unable to work for a long period of time. It pays for up to 75% of your ongoing salary. Um, the premiums will depend on the waiting period you choose, 30, 60 or 90 days. So the longer you push it out, um, the, less the, the, the less the premiums. The premiums are tax deductible. Um, two things, just particularly with life and income protection, you can take them out via superannuation so you don't have to cover, you know, they're not a cash flow expense to you. Um, just be careful with the income protection. A lot of them will only pay out for two years. You want to make sure your policy pays out to your 65 because you might need it.